Welcome back. Many would say that it feels normal and natural for many girls to be female and for many boys to be male. But that's not true for everyone. And that's why it's so important for parents of transgender children to know what to say and what to do when a child is looking to embrace his or her true identity. Debbie Mancini, a.k.a. Mama Deb, and Eve Mancini have been through this journey and still are and are here with us today and to tell us and to share with us their story. Welcome, Eve, and welcome, Debbie. Thank How you. are you both? Hello. Good. All right. Good. Eve. You just came out to your mom recently. What, what was that like? Were you afraid? Uh, not really. I mean, it was <laughs> her, so it wasn't anything to be scared of. So you knew that she was going to be accepting of it? Yeah. Right? Okay. And what about when you came out to your friends and to your brother? Um, pretty much the same story with my friends. Uh, my brother, I worried about a little bit, but then I realized that he didn't care about much of anything as far as that goes, so I just kind of told him it was fine. So you're lucky because you have people around you who, who already knew you, respected you, and just knew you when you were first Josh to Eve and just took that with their stride. Yeah. Did you have cha a challenge with that? I mean, there you are. Josh has been Josh for 20-something years and then suddenly, or 19, and then suddenly she comes out as Eve. What, ha what, what, did you, what was your response and, and what, how did you feel? Well, I had known for a little while that something was going on with Josh and kept asking, you know, what is, or is everything okay? Yes, everything's fine. Um, about a, a little while of that going, going on, and I said, you know, I'm here for whatever it is. I'm here when you're ready. And finally one day when Josh came home from school, Josh chose that moment to come out to me. And my very first reaction was, you know that I love you for who you are, not what you are. And then I said, I have a million questions running through my head right now, and I want answers to all of them. But I don't want this to be all that our relationship is right, from here on right. out, is talking about this, because we have a great relationship and I want it to continue the way it has been. So how about I get maybe three questions a week and I'll make them very pointed and I'll put them in order of importance to what I want to know. What and was she said, yes, okay, okay, that's fine. What was, your, what was her first question? Do you remember? I have no idea. Do you remember what your first question I was? I don't. I remember the list of questions that I have. I don't remember the very first one, but I remember it came quickly because she took her snack, went up to her room, and I mulled it over, and I went upstairs, knocked on the door, and said, okay, can I ask my first question now? <laughs> and she said, sure, and I sat on the bed, and, and we talked about it a little bit. Um, needless to say, I had so many questions that we both needed walked through this. So right. Josh had a therapist, I had a therapist, and then we went to a therapist together. Eve, is there an, ever a right time to come out to family and friends? Um, I don't know. I don't think there's necessarily a right time so much as just like, as long as you know you can trust them, right. then do it at your own pace. So how did you know that, that, that this was the time? Um, for you, I mean. I just kind of felt like it had to happen at some point or another, it might as well be then. Did you come out to your friends first or, or your family first? My friends first, um, mostly because they pestered me into it. But what do you mean they pestered you into it? A uh, friend of mine kept asking, you know, what's your secret? What's your secret? And eventually I got annoyed enough to tell her, so <laughs> kind of just happened like that. And then I came out to the rest of my friends and it wasn't a big deal. That's wonderful, because I think that not everybody can handle this, and, and I'm not saying that's right. I'm just thinking that, that it's so important that families really pay attention. And again, what you said was so, was so important, I love you for who you are and not what you are. And I think that needs to be in people's minds, and, and really people need to, to, to take that into account. What's your advice to, to young people who are coming out? Um, I guess... My first thing would be to always, always find people who are comfortable with you and who are going to treat you with respect, um, whether it be, you know, a group or your friends or your family, whoever it is, you know, find people you're comfortable with uh, and who are comfortable with you. And um, other than that, I'm always a big advocate for educating yourself, so learn as much as you can about it. 
And you know, there are lots of new shows now about transgender, and so so there's education right there too. Have you been watching any of these shows or familiar with any of these shows? I haven't. You've been busy in school. <laughs> what about you? Have you? I I've watched a little bit of them. Obviously, um, not only from a personal point of view, but from Dear Mama Deb's point of view, I'm right. helping a lot of parents walk through this journey as well. I'm the glad to hear that. I really am. That's important. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. The main goal for me is to just help parents understand that your job has not changed. Your job as a parent is to help your child walk their journey, keyword their journey not yours. Right, and that is impor important it because is important. because your what you want for your child may not be what your child wants for himself or herself. And Kristen was talking about respect earlier. So you really have to respect who your child is and what your child stands for and the direction that your child is going in. Always, but especially when you're dealing with a transgender issue because Look, this was new for me, and I'm not going to say it was was easy. It was very difficult for me to wrap my brain around something. I don't understand it. I'm not a transgender. I right. don't understand right. it. But I understand my child. I love my child. I know that this is one of the best people I've ever known. That has never changed. It's not going to either. That's wonderful. And again, I think it's so important what you're doing and that you are very courageous, both of you. It's not an easy journey to walk, but you're doing it with love and support, and thank you, really thank you both for being here. Thank you, Joanne, for Thanks. My shining pleasure. a light on this. Thanks. I think it's important. It is. Still ahead, you'll meet one person who has taken her transgender journey to the stage to share her story with the world so many when wrong Power decisions. Your Life returns in just a moment. Too short, acid-washed denim skirt, the metallic blouse, the too high heels, the unfortunate overly curly wig, but it all feels so right all the way into the May Company until a snarl of teenagers spots me and comes to a halt.